In the Bronx tonight, it was game on against hated rivals, the Boston Red Sox. I'm here for the Yankees. I'm always been a Yankees fan and I want to catch a ball. I really want the Yankees to win and I hope Aaron Judge can come in. Unfortunately for that young fan, that's not happening. Slugger Aaron Judge is one of the six Yankees who tested positive for COVID. The cases, despite an 85% vaccination rate among the team. Some of the six are breakthrough cases when vaccinated individuals still get infected. So when you have people who are in a close environment, such as a sports team, a locker room, the risk is going to be higher, irrespective of whether they are vaccinated or unvaccinated. Yankees brass say several players are experiencing symptoms and not all who are positive are vaccinated. This comes as nearly every state in the nation is seeing a spike in COVID cases, the highly contagious Delta variant to blame. The surge has health officials in Los Angeles bringing back an indoor mask requirement, regardless of vaccination status. Dozens of other California counties and the city of Las Vegas also recommending masks. Mayor de Blasio was asked if that will happen here. In his weekly radio appearance, he explained why not. We're not seeing uh, any real movement in the hospitalizations, and that's really important. Federal officials say vaccines are the best protection. This is becoming a pandemic of the unvaccinated. But what about the children, those 11 and under who are currently ineligible for any vaccine? The goal has been to vaccinate as many adults as possible to create a buffer around kids. But vaccination rates have been slowing down across the country. It's unacceptable to have any children be infected, but we do know that they get less sick. So we anticipate in the coming months that we'll be able to lower the vaccination age even below 12, hopefully to five, and then maybe after that, even further below that. And clinical trials are underway, but government regulators appear to want a longer monitoring period when it comes to kids and how they may react to the vaccine. They just want those extra assurances that the vaccines are safe for the kids. The best estimate that we have right now for when the kids may be eligible it would be at the end of this year at the earliest or early in 2022. We're live tonight in the Bronx. I'm Shirley Chan, PIX11 News.